Our new feature here at Blackpool Sea Life Centre has all the fright creatures to convince you that we should all scare for the world's oceans and the often unseen denizens of the deep. This is your ISO podcast for the Scary Monsters area. As you leave the brightly lit, crystal clear water of our tropical shark tunnel and turn to your right, you will notice the square rust covered girders looming out across the space ahead of you. The red glowing letters, although dripping and oozing, manage to spell out in front of you the words, Scary Monsters. From here, the bright lights begin to fade and a descent into the cold and black begins. Since the beginning of time, man has feared the dark, the unknown. What could be out there? How close is it? What are its motives? Now you will drop to the deepest levels of the iciest oceans and visit some of the most unfortunate looking, scariest creatures ever to be witnessed by human eyes. The sunken submarine you will soon board lays wrecked and lost. Cursed, some say, and left hanging over the edge of a precipice at the bottom of the ocean. Full of twists and turns, as well as providing a surprising glimpse into a collection of creatures rarely seen by man. Before even boarding this cursed vessel, however, you will begin to hear the fizz of electricity, the hissing of a broken pipe, and the creaking of a sunken submarine in perilous predicament. To get a better view of what's to come, I invite you to take a look at the window edged with rusted pipes and fist-sized metal bolts. Looking closely, you can see right through this display, but be careful not to look too closely, else you'll see right through the creatures themselves. These are our ghost catfish. Found in fast flowing streams and large schools throughout Southeast Asia, the Malay Peninsula, Borneo and Sumatra. These fish are widely believed to have the clearest and most transparent body of any fish on the planet, allowing you to see completely through them. All of their major organs are visible through their clear flesh. Careful examination allows you to see tiny hearts beat, throb, pulse, and after feeding time, normally consisting of small shrimps, is their last meal resting in their stomachs before being rained in acids and digestive juices and melted into a fishy pulp. Can you see their dinner now? being churned and dissolved. Be thankful you are not a shrimp then, constantly living in fear of being devoured by a predator that's impossible to see. Measuring at present 5 centimeters in length and growing to a maximum of 15 centimeters, these fish have a long, slightly arching back with no obvious dorsal fin. Their tails are V-shaped and relatively small, as are their triangle-shaped heads, which have two long, thread-like barbels reaching out in front of them. Their lack of colour gives them an incomplete look, an animal started yet never finished, destined to roam their native streams and waterways as a skeleton, always lacking a body. you a light glows, a shining beacon in the gathering dark. Move closer, just like many a small fish before. Investigate, move in closer. A form fills the window, yet still it is hidden, enveloped in a shadowy black. The form is almost visible, 
If only there was a little more light. Press the button in front of you. Press it if you dare. At first glance, a look to the right appears to yield nothing more than clear, empty water. Just a column of pale, grey stones, flooded by a blood-red light. However, I urge you to look closer. No, closer still. Hiding in the cracks and crevices of the rocks lives an ugly creature. A troll of a fish, known as the Warty Frogfish, these often brightly coloured fish are near impossible to find due to the grotesque shape and hideous texture of their squat little bodies. But just because you cannot look at them does not mean they are not looking right at you, peering at you, sizing you up, and all before you even know they are there. masters of camouflage. They're covered in thick, warty-looking lumps and boil-like protrusions, and are frequently coloured in garish patterns of pus yellows with rotten browns or bilious shades of green, with toxic-looking oranges giving them the appearance of festering lumps of cheese. In the wild, their colours hide them amongst brain-like corals, squelchy sponges and toxic nudie branches. And this protects them from the larger predators who are brave enough to consider this bug-eyed critter a tasty morsel. They're found throughout the West Indo-Pacific. This includes the Maldives, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Singapore, and from Mauritius to Indonesia. Their closest relatives are the ferocious deep-sea anglerfish coven of species well known for their fiendish appearances. As a result, they feed in a similar fashion. On top of their heads is a small rod, with a piece of flesh hanging from the end. When the frogfish is hungry, they will suggestively wave this lure to attract smaller fish closer. As the little fish draws ever near, the frogfish lowers the lure towards the seabed waiting patiently until the poor little fish is within striking distance, and then... Wow! A huge, gaping mouth lunges out of nowhere and the helpless fish becomes a tasty snack. If you're lucky, as you look into this display, you may see a curled, transparent egg raft floating near the surface of the tank. These are eggs laid by the female frogfish. Each tiny clear bubble is a single egg, and there could potentially be thousands of tiny frogfish babies waiting to emerge in the coming weeks.